especially for those who's going to start a social enterprise trying to build a sustainable model and I'm going to use a few examples uh, after six years we realized that there's a lot more that we can do uh, to, to achieve this goal of sustainability and what I mean by sustainable at least break even uh, when your expenses or your, your OPEX uh, can match the revenue at least and of course if you make a little bit of profit um, then that's great news. But on this particular model that we've developed, and I'm going to use three main uh, um, solutions or, or industry that can also be implemented, but that can be implemented in mostly uh, most of the industries. Uh, but with this model, now you can build a profitable business, number one. Number two, this is mostly focused for um, hardware or hard tech companies or physical products. If you have an app and all, it's much easier for you guys to build a sustainable model, even though uh, there's still OPEX, there's still uh, engagement to be done with the customer base, but it, it's less complex. But for hardware, uh, it's extremely hard. And we're gonna use the solar energy, the water industry, of course, air and business. But before I get uh, into those examples, I wanna share with you guys what you probably already know. It's the, the market segment. What you have to do is break down the market segment, right? So you have uh, the rural areas, you know, rural, of course, is the biggest uh, segment in Africa, and then you have uh, urban, which is usually 20, top 30%, but increasing in the next few decades. 50% of the population in Africa will be living in urban settings. But that's still only 50%. So 50% are still living in those two market segments. Now, as a social enterprise, what segment do you focus on? Rural, sometimes some are urban. Uh, but never urban, right? You know, you're trying to have an impact. You're trying to focus on low income areas. You're trying to bring a solution that is needed in those areas. Um, I've seen, you know, the challenges are, are many. Energy sector, it's a big problem uh, in those areas. Water, clean water, etc., etc. For ARED is, 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 you know, distribution of digital services and connectivity. That's what the, the problematic we bring. Of course, phone charging is part of it. Uh, but what you, what you find out is that, you know, investors, if you're a social enterprise raising capital, investors want you, want you to just focus on those areas. The challenge in those areas is it's a very fragmented market. So the value chain for transportation, for distribution and all that, it's almost non-existent. So most of the time, most companies have to build the whole value chain. Number two, you know, the margins are very small, you know, because uh, obviously people making less than two, three or five dollars a day their priorities are different. And uh, when I started ARED, it was, I was very naive about the challenge. I was looking for a challenge to solve. I was looking for, I, I love solving problems. And uh, I was like, let, let me try to solve two problems actually. Not only the, the problem of distribution of services, connectivity in those areas, but also the problem of unemployment. Uh, you know, as a bundle into one, our product which is the kiosk business and what we found out was uh, 
again, margins was very small. So it was very, very difficult to build a sustainable model, right? So we started with phone charging, 2013. 2014, 15, we moved to digital services. Uh, and 2016, well now 2017, we moved to connectivity solutions. So one of the things we learned, and that's very important, number one thing we learned is we need to find a way to provide a multiple revenue stream to build a sustainable model in this area. I repeat, multiple revenue streams. Because the margins are so small, if you provide one or two services, it's extremely hard uh, uh, to solve the, the, the sustainability problem of your company. And you can see it in, in a lot of, of uh, uh, businesses, you know, um, solar products or home solar system is one of them. So how do they solve that? Well, they increase the price point of the, their product. So that's another solution some, some companies do. So they increase the cost of the product and they develop, they develop the, uh, a micro-lending structure in a period of time to solve that, uh, that problematic. So the customer come, get a loan, pay for three, five years at a certain interest, three times what the cost of the product initially is, number one. Number two, of course, the product uh, lose value. But the problem with that model is very simple. If there's an economic crash or economic issue, boom, the whole model crumbles. Because the first thing the individual is going to do is cut down the, 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 the expenses they don't need and focus on what's important. And that's what the problem with those uh, micro lending on those products are. And unfortunately, it creates a uh, debt system to those uh, customers, and most of them don't understand. So I'm not a big fan, but this is not what the case of this blog. But this is one of the models you see. Another model you see is a, is a service business. Uh, so you provide, a, uh, you provide the hardware for a large amount of people, right? I'll tell one, water filtration system. So you have the hardware here, you know, and then you charge a fee to call a hardware as a service business. Very interesting. That's what we do. Uh, where people come and pay a small fee to get access to the service, right? Uh, but again, because you have one service, the margins are very small. So it takes a long time to recover your investment. That's also a challenge. But what we stumbled on uh, last year, 2018, was we already fully understand the rural market, the semi-urban market. The only way you can maximize revenue on those uh, area is jacking up the price of the services. That's not gonna work. At least that's not sustainable. Because if you're gonna be a true social enterprise, your focus is your customer. That's your number one focus. So you need to find a way to deliver the services at the lowest cost possible so you can have the largest impact possible. At least that's what my belief is. So instead of jacking up the price, your price should say the same or minimize the price. And what I mean by minimize, giving promotion, etc., etc., etc. Semi-urban, uh, same thing. But what I've learned is, you know, we we'll use a different color to, and that's going to be revenue. You know, so your revenue are going to be not that big in rural area, semi-urban area. It's going to be small. If, you know, offer 20 years uh, uh, um, guarantee, whatever the case that is, but at least they have consistency on their price. They know they're not going to have shortcut. That's for, for B2C. B2B also. There's huge application for B2B for solar energy. Water filtration, same thing. You know, water quality is a big problem uh, around the world. There's a, there's a, a, a business case uh, for that. For ARED specifically, we found out that our Wi-Fi technology has huge application need for the urban setting. So we have a B2B model and a B2C model. Um, in urban setting. So we maximize our revenue, we charge extra, people have the money, 
people can spend extra. That offset the cost that sometimes we're using in those markets, rural areas and some urban areas. So this is the point of this blog, guys. You want to have an impact, but you still want to be sustainable. And I guarantee after six years, man, we've tried. We, 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 we've tried so many different models, and this is by far the best model, I believe, that can make any social impact enterprise work when you focus Obviously, you start here, you learn, you understand, you build the ecosystem, but you also develop the urban center. And I know sometimes it's a big challenge when you deal with investors. Sometimes they just want you to focus on one segment of the market, not the other. But the bottom line is things are changing as, you, as they become more aware of the sustainability. I've yet to find any social enterprise with a hardware business that is sustainable, only focusing on that market segment. So I'm not going to go too much in detail. Um, I wanted to share this, guys, especially for, for, for you guys about to get started in this journey to minimize your risk of failure. Good luck. If you have any questions, you can send it to me on email. Take care.